my home base. I've got a brief addendum to this morning's announcements. Well, an apology. Some things were said by lots of people that probably should have been kept as, um, inside thoughts. As near as our experts can tell, it seems like there's some sort of energy field or something coming out of Hexylvania, and it's causing... What did you call it, Lars? Vomit is true spewing. Right. So, like I said, sorry, Dennis, and sorry, home base. As soon as we know more, we will update you. And in the meantime, maybe just stay away from each other so no one accidentally says anything else hurtful. You dummies. <gasps> sorry. Uh, hey, Commander. I'm out of materials, and all my usual runners are flipping out about the secret stuff. Think you could give me a hand? I got guns to make. Thanks for the ride, Lars. Glad to see someone else not cowering inside because of some little secrets. Hey, what can I say? I'm basically an open book already. Let's try and be quick, though. Still no telling what kind of crazy effects that energy field will have in the long run. Nice work, Commander. So, the whole truth vomit thing doesn't really freak you out, huh? Just feel like you don't have any secrets? Yeah. I just think I got the willpower to keep him buried deep down next to my negative feelings and childhood memories where they belong. That scans. I didn't really picture you as some sort of flawless angel type. <laughs> Oop, sorry. Yeah, that's valid. I'm surprised you don't have more secrets you'd be freaked out about people knowing. You know, what with you being a rock star and all. Ah, that's the rock star thing, though. People expect you to be a lunatic. I have, like, three memoirs that are full of so many crazy stories, even I don't know what's real and what's fabricated anymore. <laughs> Especially since they were all ghost-written. <laughs> There's one. Hey, guys, how's the material run going? Kind of still getting started. Uh, seriously? So slow. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry. What can we do for you, little robot? As long as you guys are out there in Hexylvania, do you think you could try and take some scans of the energy field? The truth explosion situation is getting bad, and we need to start figuring out a solution. Hmm, I'd love to help you, little robot, but I didn't really bring any energy field scanning equipment. Well, that's okay. I had Locke stow away in your drum case. He's got all sorts of sensors. So many sensors! Oh, come on, Ray. You know I hate it when you mess with my stuff without asking. It's true, but I chose to ignore that because for some reason I really enjoy it when you're mad and I'm very sorry I just said that. I'll let him out. Hi, Locke. Hello, everyone. <sighs> Come on, Locke. Let's get you situated. Even though I really don't think you should be out here. Those pods are all looking great, Commander. Thank you. You see what I mean with everyone getting weird about this secret telling stuff? It's like no one has any self-control whatsoever. You really don't feel any urge to share your secrets? Nope. Ha ha, me neither. That is also why I am not sharing my many, many secrets. Belch, even though I have so many and they want to come up. All right, just keep that scan going, Locke. We're getting some good data. I'm very glad to hear it. You know, Locke, if you don't have any secrets, that's okay. Who said I don't have any secrets? I have many, many secrets. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Nice work, Commander. Just one more should do it. And like I was saying, Locke, if you don't have any secrets, that's fine. At the rate home bases are puking them up, no one else will have any secrets soon either. So you're saying that if I get even one secret and keep it, I'll be ahead of everyone else. That is... Not at all what I was saying, but whatever. I don't actually care that much. Okay, Cliff, think that'll cover you? Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, you guys. You get the scans Ray was asking for? Not really. Energy field is too dispersed out here, so everything's just kind of fuzzy. Not that I think Ray even has any idea what she's looking for. <laughs> huh. huh, I don't remember eating onions. Ew. Come on, let's get back. So, no dice on the data then? Sorry, little robot. It was just too fuzzy. Mm. Guess that's what I should have expected when I sent Locke. Oh, sorry. I feel great shame. 
Well, I'm gonna leave you folks to your experiments or whatever. I got guns to make. Thanks for the assist, Commander.